Clip gain in Studio One is full featured and very easy to use. We can use a standard static clip gain like we do in other DAWs, or like in other DAWs, we can also use dynamic clip gain, which is clip gain that changes over time. And in Studio One, that is called gain envelope. So to use your standard clip gain, very simple, just come to the top of your track, click and drag up or down to change the volume of that clip. Really simple, right? If I hold down control on my windows, by the way, so yes, usually command on Mac, hold on control and click, that puts it back to the default. So let's say we have two different clips. These are both drums here, right? Let's just hear this. So that second clip is much quieter than the first one. So in this case, we can just simply use clip gain to you know, adjust the overall level of that clip so they blend together much better. There we go, very good. Or maybe you have a problem like this. So right here, we have a couple of drum beats that are much louder than the rest of the track. So we can use static clip gain to adjust that very, very quickly. So I'll just pull out here to you know zoom in a bit. And in Studio One, in order to you know cut something, just double click. So as long as you have our multi-tool selected, right? So double click here and I'll double click here. And then I'll just come to the top of this track and pull down. Because whenever, again, let me just show you what I did there for those who are uh, might be new to uh, Studio One here. Uh, when I click here, I'm cutting the track. When I click here, I'm cutting the track. So let me right click and change the color of this so it's more evident that this is now a completely different uh, clip, right? So now that this is a different clip, we can use clip gain and it only affects this little portion here instead of you know the rest of the track, right? So now I can pull this down and bring it in line with everything else. And all in all, that takes maybe four seconds to do, right? Much, much better and much faster than going in there and maybe trying to draw in volume automation, although you can do that very easily here in Studio One as well. So that is your static clip gain. Again, just come to the top of your track. Again, we have our multi-tool selected here and just drag up or down and that will change the gain for that clip if you want to just affect a little portion. You can maybe just have our razor tool in this case, and then I'll click once and click once, and then I can come back to our multi-tool or the arrow and then drag down just that area, or it's much easier if you just have your multi-tool selected from the get-go. In that case, I can double click, double click, and then just drag right down. Super simple, super easy to do. But what if I didn't want to cut my track for whatever reason? I mean, it doesn't really make, <laughs> there's really no reason to not cut the track, but if for some reason you didn't want to cut the track, in that case, we could use something like dynamic clip gain. So I'm just gonna control Z out of all that. And now we're back to this drum track where we have these couple of hits that are way louder than everything else. Okay, so this time, instead of cutting the track, I'm gonna use dynamic clip gain, which is again, here in Studio One, called a gain envelope. So to get to that, just right click and select gain envelope. And now you'll see this line running through the entire track, okay? So in this case, you probably understand what to do already, don't you? So again, we have our multi-tool selected and you know, dynamic clip gain works very, very easily here in Studio One. I don't have to push down a bunch of command keys or shortcut keys, right? I can just literally click and there's a node and I can click maybe over here and there's another node. So very simple, very easy to do. Uh, there's multiple ways we could do this, you know, by just adding bunch of different nodes pulling down. Uh, we can change the shape of that, whether it's concave or convex, or I could just pull this down completely here. Again, we can just click and drag, adjust these uh, around. I can turn snapping off if I want, you know, just freely adjust what I have snapping on right now. So that's the same thing essentially of what we just did or what we did previously with uh, cutting the track first, you know. Uh, I probably took the overall level <laughs> down a little bit too far, but you see how this works, right? Same, you know, essentially the same thing um, as cutting the track, except this time we're using dynamic clip gain or what's called again, our uh, gain envelope here in Studio One. It's very good. So now it flows along just fine. Or if you don't want to add your nodes first and then sort of you know, kind of draw in your shape, no problem. Just like in other DAWs, we can make a range selection and I have my multi-tool selected right now. 
So in my range selection, I can then come to the upper part of the track to where my cursor turns kind of sideways, you can see there. Then click and just drag up or drag down. And then we have our envelope shape right there. Again, just like, you know, just, just like it works in other DAWs. Selection, top of the track, pull up, which, you know, is the same thing as simply, um, you know, as we did previously, as, as just cutting the track and then, uh, you know, pulling down or pulling up your clip gain. It's just sort of a different way to do it. Either way that you want to do it is absolutely fine. Both of them are very quick to do, so it really doesn't, you know, it really doesn't matter how you want to do this. I can even move everything here, you know, all together uh, just by hovering at the top of that track, by the way. All right, so if you don't want to add your nodes, no problem. You can just do the same basic thing you do in every other, uh, every other DAW, making your range selection and then pulling things up or down just like that. You can also right click, by the way, and hide that gain envelope line if it's kind of you know, becoming annoying. That doesn't turn off the gain envelope, by the way. We'll cover that later with our bypass, but uh, that just turns the line off if it gets to be kind of annoying. Yeah, we can do a lot of things with dynamic clip gain. Maybe I could do something like this. I could click here and I could click here and I could raise just this part up and have a nice ramp up. And again, I could change the shape of that. Again, just directly here. I don't have to hold down no modifier keys. It's just direct and simple with Studio One. So then I can have a nice build up if I want. I can drag this out further to make it take much longer. Okay, and then maybe pull it down there for some reason, who knows why. And have it build up. Really cool, right? Really simple to do there with your uh, dynamic clip game. Again, I could add more nodes in here. We could do really stupid stuff if we wanted to, right? Just really put some weird shapes in here for some reason, you know? There we go. It's gonna sound awful. Right? But maybe something like that would work better on a bass track or maybe a guitar track here. Let's just do like the guitar track. So we can also do some things with our dynamic clip gain, uh, like painting in our automation changes. So let me right click here. I'm gonna turn on our gain envelope or what I call dynamic clip gain here in uh, Studio One. And let me change the color here just so it's easier to see. So maybe something like that. A little bit easier to see what we're doing here. Now let's say I wanna add some weird shapes in here or something like this. You know, I could try to do that manually, but let's say I want a bunch of triangles. Well, instead of doing that, I'll get rid of those nodes. You can also click on a node and just hit delete and that will delete it. I can come up here to my paint tool right here. You can click and hold and right here is your triangle tool. So select that and now I can just draw in <laughs> all of those uh, dynamic clip gain changes. Right, sounds, sounds pretty bad there, uh, you know, in this case, but of course I could do it maybe so there's not quite as much of a change there like that maybe. Almost like you have a roto speaker or something going on uh, just with essentially what's automation. And the cool thing about this, whenever we're using our dynamic clip gain, is we can also use our static clip gain in conjunction with it. So that means I can come up here to the, to the top of the track, right? I can click and drag and I can adjust the overall gain for the track, um, you know, everything with our static clip gain in conjunction with the dynamic <laughs> clip gain. Try doing that in other DAWs. Very cool. I love, love clip gain here and dynamic clip gain here in Studio One. But it goes you know, even further than that. Maybe I can use my paint tool and just go to freehand. Um, try an adjustment there, try an adjustment here, right? If instead you just kind of want to draw things, you can just draw them too. Let me just control Z out of that. I'll just grab my paint tool and it will be on the default freehand. And in this case, I can just start drawing, right? So I don't have to click and add nodes or anything like that. I can simply just draw in whatever I want. I don't like that shape, control Z. Let's do something more like that. There we go. All done, super fast, super easy. Not gonna sound good, but you get the idea about how you could you know, quickly create volume changes here in Studio One with your clip gain and your dynamic clip gain. But here's another really cool thing 
about dynamic clip gain here in Studio One is I can right click my track and I can bypass my gain envelope, boom, and guess what? It stays there, we can see what it was, but now whenever I play back, that gain envelope or that clip gain is not affecting the track. So I'm able to preview um, like the original and then the affected after I add in all my clip gain. Now, what if we want to get rid of our clip gain? You know, we've done tons of stuff to this track, uh, but now we just want to get rid of it. We don't want to just bypass it. We want to actually get rid of it. No problem. Right click on your audio clip, come down to audio, look for volume envelope, and then come down to reset gain envelope. And that will get rid of everything. You can then, of course, head back in there and, uh, make some changes and start over uh, or manually add in shapes just as we showed earlier. However you prefer to do this, there's lots of different ways to do it here in Studio One. They're very simple and uh, very quick and very easy to do. Now there's a lot more you can actually do with your dynamic clip gain. Uh, we're about 10 minutes in here or so, so let's not make this too much longer, but you can come up here to, let's go to help, and we'll go to Studio One Reference Manual. So if you wanna check into more of this, just come up here to your Reference Manual and just type in Gain Envelope, do a quick search, and you'll find Clips and Clip Gain Envelopes should be your first link. And come through here, and there's a lot of stuff you can do, like adding new clip versions, um, you know, separate your shared copy. There's so much that you can do with uh, Clip Gain in here. You know, delete Gain Point, uh, the gain envelope points and curve bends. This, again, there's so much you can do. It would take an hour just to go through all the stuff you can do with your dynamic clip gain or what they call, uh, you know, your, your gain envelope here in Studio One Six. So if you're coming from other DAWs, this should help you get started in what I consider to be the best modern doll out there today.